Hello, welcome to Beautifying Life and Creativity. What's up? What's up? It's so cold and it's almost winter. Actually, a few days ago, it snowed. So we could say we are already in winter. But don't worry, because we have the spirit of winter to help us. You don't believe me? Well, what do you think I have here? It's the winter spirit and it smells lovely and it tastes amazing. So today we are lucky to share with you the story of the winter spirit who is our best partner in winter for us. Uh, this winter spirit is called Tsuika in Romanian and it's a brandy, a brandy made of plums. In our travels we are getting very lucky and this time we've encountered the way of producing Tsuika and the plum brandy uh, in a traditional way. This is extremely valuable because uh, you don't see it very often to be made as our parents did and our grandparents and so on and so on. And this makes it extremely valuable, extremely tasty and healthy and we are lucky to witness it. Once upon a time, actually this tale of winter spirit takes place every year at the end of autumn at the beginning of winter that's the best moment for the brandy to take place and uh, this story is located in a wonderful wonderful and magic land in the countryside where the trees can produce their plums freely and in a natural way so our story uh, although it has its climax now, at the beginning of winter, it actually starts in spring when the trees, if we're lucky, uh, are going to bring beautiful blooms and flowers that later on will become the plums. So now comes the first secret of this tale, which is leaving the plums on the branches in the trees so they can get ripe naturally under the sun and the sweeter they are the better the brandy will be and then at the end of summer or even better in the autumn months like october or september the plums will be gathered one by one carefully and put in big barrels where they will be left to ferment and the ferment means that all the pulp becomes so strange and uh, spooky smelling and you couldn't believe that this potion will become one day the wonderful Tsuika. But anyway, the other secret is to keep the ferment as long as possible until it stops. So the brandy will be smooth. This story also has the brandy helpers. They are numerous, they are hardworking and patient through all this month, and they respect the brandy and the plums. So at the right moment when the plums are fermented, they will take one bucket by one bucket all this draft, the strange smelling thing, and will carry it to the distiller den. And here is the place where the magic happens. These helpers look like Santa's elves or something. And at the distiller then, there's another secret to be taken into account if you want to make the best brandy. The draft is put into the cauldrons and each of it will be kept 
over the fire for as long time as possible because if you keep it long the brandy will be soft and hard for the brandy to become soft and very tasty so this is a third secret and uh, this night it's uh, of course a night of hard work as I told you before because the elves are all uh, aware of the process but it's also a night where people spend time together and discuss their issues and discuss their life experiences and even if there are elves that don't know each other this is an opportunity to become friends and to learn a lot of things about the others actually in the countryside this process of making the brandy it's like a ritual like a sacred moment of the year the potion the tzwika <laughs> is a very valuable product it's also a currency because you can exchange it for products and services. It's also used sometimes as a medicine when you have headaches or uh, stomach aches or when you have the flu. Uh, and even the children take a bit of brandy to get better. This is why everybody respects it. And this is why it's one of the most important products in the countryside. This magic night also involves preparing some extremely good food in the strong fire of the cauldrons and uh, as I told you it's an experience that you can never forget and it's an experience that afterwards will still have its vibrance in the brandy when you taste it it's not like an empty brandy just like a an industrial one no it's a magic one surrounded by this entire time spent together with the others during this night at the distillery everybody is giving a helpful hand everybody has something to do everybody is carrying something but there is one important task to be done this is the tasting of the brandy, the fresh brandy, so you can uh, decide when to stop it, when to take the cauldron from the fire. So you can choose your desired strength of the brandy. And this is very, very essential. And the elf uh, doing this task must be very careful because the night is long and the brandy is a lot and uh, each sip can gather into a huge amount of brandy tasted. <laughs> this tale of the winter spirit it's an inspiration and it's a valuable because um, it's not just about a liquid it's about the human values and the values of a community and the customs and traditions in winter and i hope this inspires you also and did you also know that you can drink the brandy uh, boiled with a bit of sugar and a lot of black pepper and other spices which is even a better potion for the cold winter evenings and uh, and gata i hope okay and i still haven't drink the brandy so so that's it for today i hope you enjoyed this video and you felt inspired Share with us in the comment section below your stories of winter spirit, your memories and traditions and your valuable assets inside the community. If you're new to Chrissy Me channel, subscribe and activate the notification bell. And for all of you out there, I thank you very much for watching us. And till next time, send you many kisses. And always remember to beautify your life and your soul. Bye.